Welcome to our new video that is MCQs on microscope stain and staining techniques and this is the part 2 of this series of videos on microscope stain and staining techniques. So the first question is most commonly used fluorescence microscopy is epifluorescence microscopy or incident light fluorescent microscopy or reflected light fluorescent microscopy or all of this and the right answer is option D that is all of this so all of these are commonly used as fluorescent microscopy or fluorescence microscopy okay so the next question kya hai? so next question is fluorescent microscope uses to stain cells with the stain that is saffron in orange or fluorochromes or crystal violet or Indian India ink and the right answer about the stain which is used in fluorescent microscope is option B that is fluorochromes. So fluorochromes are used in fluorescent microscope as a stain to stain the cell. Okay. So next question kya hai? Next hai, in electron microscope the lenses are electric, photoelectric, electromagnetic or quartz and the right answer is option C that is electromagnetic. So in electron microscope the lenses are electromagnetic. Okay. So the next one which is a prerequisite for electron microscope and option, options are vacuum, living material, source of light or reflector and the right answer is option A that is vacuum. So vacuum is a prerequisite for electron microscope. So next question kya hai dekhte? So next, next question hai scaling, uh, scanning electron microscope is important for its images which are very large and sharp three dimensional fluorescent or two dimensional and the right answer is option B that is three dimensional. So scanning electron microscope is important for its image which are three dimensional. Okay. So next one live and dead bacteria can be differentiated using microscopy that is dark field microscopy or phase contrast microscopy or fluorescent microscopy or none of this. So the right answer is option C that is fluorescent microscopy is used to differentiate live and dead bacteria. Okay. So move on to the next question. So acridine orange is a fluorochrome used for staining DNA and fluoresces which fluoresces orange and the next option that is staining DNA and it fluoresces green or staining D RNA or it fluoresces pink or staining RNA which fluoresces yellow and the right answer about the acridine orange is option A that is acridine orange is a fluorochrome used for staining DNA which fluoresces orange. Okay. So next question kya hai dekhenge abhi? So next question is which microscope can be used on the basis of difference between refractive indices and thickness and the options are fluorescent microscope, differential inter interference contrast microscope that is DIC microscope or phase contrast microscope or dark field microscope and the right answer is option B that is differential interference contrast microscope. Okay. So next question they can give which famous scientist provided the mathematical theory relating resolution of imaging with wavelength and the options are Ernest Abbey, Zacharias Zassen, Zansen or Henrik Rohr, Rohrer or Carl Jace and the right answer is option A that is Ernest Abbey. So that is called the Ernest, Ernest Abbey's equation. So that is called Abbey's equation. So the famous scientist that is Ernest Abbey provided the mathematical theory relating resolution of imaging with wavelength is known as Abbey's reaction. Okay. So move on to the next question. 
it is for the fundamental work in electron optics and designing the first electron microscope which eminent physicist received the nobel prize in physics in 1986 is reinhold rodenberg or ernest abbey or helmut roska or manfred von adeni and the right answer is option b that is ernest abbey so for the fundamental work in electron optics and designing the first electron microscope for which our ernest abbey get the nobel prize in physics in 1986 okay so next question kya hai dekhenge so the first step in preparing a slide is fixation staining or blotting or observation under the microscope and the right answer is option a that is fixation is the first step in preparing a slide so the next one cellular uh, cellular substructure and the morphology of larger more delicate microorganisms can be protected using staining with basic dyes chemical fixation direct observation under microscope or heat fixation and the right answer is option b that is chemical fixation so cellular substructure and the morphology of larger more delicate microorganisms can be protected using chemical fixation so the next question is which of these is not a common chemical fixative and the options are formaldehyde acetic acid ethanol or methylene blue so which is not a common chemical fixative and the right answer is option d that is methylene blue so methylene blue is not a common chemical fixative okay so next one so next one is external features can be observed with finer details in which kind of microscope amongst following so external features can be observed by light microscope or dissecting microscope or compound microscope with oil immersion lens or scanning electron microscope and the right answer is option d that is scanning electron microscope so scanning electron microscope is used for external features to observe the external features with finer details so that is the important finer details okay so move on to the next that is number 35 so when a ray of light passes from one medium to another the ray is bent at the interface this phenomenon is called as diffraction refraction refractive index or diffra diffractive index and the right answer is option b that is refraction so when a ray of light passes from one medium to another the ray is bent at the interface that is known as refraction so the next one is the ability of an substance to slow the velocity of light is called its passive transmission refractive index rotations rotations of light or diffusion of light and the right answer is option b that is refractive index so the ability of a substance to slow the velocity of light is called refractive index okay so next one is chromophore groups are groups with positively charged group negatively charged group or conjugated double bonds that give dye its color or none of this and the right answer is option c that is conjugated double bonds that give dye its color so this is chromophore groups okay so the next one which of these is not used in negative staining and the options are india ink methylene blue or nigrosin or all of this or all of the above and the right answer is option b that is methylene blue so methylene blue is not used in negative staining so the next question is morphology motility nutrition and physiology are the basic components for taxonomic classification based on phenotypic classification systemic classification traditional classification or all of the above and the right answer is option a that is phenotypic classification okay so the last question of this video that is internal nodes external nodes and branches are the main components of phylogenetic tree 
phylophasic polyphasic tree or traditional tree or none of the above and the right answer is option a that is phylogenetic tree so these are all 20 questions of this part 2 video okay so thank you for watching this video